Yo, what's good, Will Mydell back again. I'm at the office and I don't know what we're gonna be working on today, but we are gonna be creating. So y'all just gonna have to buckle all in because I don't know what we're gonna be doing today, but it's probably gonna be cosplay. I'm leaning more towards photography and Photoshop editing and maybe a mix of AI. That's what I'm feeling right now. So y'all strap on in and let's hop to it. Hey. All right, so what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to go through these costumes that I've accumulated over the past year and trying to figure out what I want to work with tonight. So as you can see, I have quite a bit. Just gonna go through these right quick and think of whatever outfit kind of, I don't know, should I give you guys a sneak peek? What I, what I really want to do is, you know what, I'll tell y'all when I get to my laptop. Let me finish looking through these. All right, so I don't know why I'm doing this on myself. All right, so the first idea I thought of was this this costume I have of uh, the Riddler, right? So I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, but I did this um, this clothing transition between me and a casual black outfit with a Batman mask on, with a tie, and when I was zipping my, you know, like pulling my tie up to my neck, excuse me, it transformed into the Riddler. And part of the, the transition that made it awesome is that I used some some bats that were flying across the screen as the, the transition was going on, which kind of made it even more cooler. I think I got the bats off of Envato Elements, or it might have been off Production Crate. I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put it in the link below. And uh, if you haven't seen the video, I'll post it right here so you guys can take a look at it. But I made the video and I also recorded the same day, but this is on my, my, my hard drive. And I haven't shown anybody of me, I think I'll post that up here too, of me twirling my cane. And I was trying to rotoscope myself out because I wanted to put myself into, I wanna say like a 3D environment. It's kind of hard with my laptop. It's like, okay, I wanna use Unreal Engine, but my Mac isn't strong enough. I could use Blender, but it's just like, I don't have the patience, you know? And the patience, it's like, more, I'm more of on a creative director side. I'm like, I see the vision and I point to what I need to get done based off my imagination. I'm like, okay, y'all, the you know, right departments can take care of that. I would love to learn how to 3D model. I, I mean, I would love to have that, that skill under my, my belt. Unfortunately, uh, my creative mind just moves too fast. It's like the time I waste on that, I don't, you know, went through like 30, 40 more ideas, which really don't make any sense because, you know, I barely implement those because I'm too busy or too tired. That's another story. Anywho, when I tried to rotoscope myself out, it was taking for, it was either taking forever or it was just like, okay, another patience thing. And that's why I, I come in a lot of people who put a lot of time in the videos that requires like weeks, you know, cause the final product is awesome. It's just, man, I like, I, I, I'd rather have a fast computer. <laughs> I could just not, I mean, I don't mind doing what needs to be done and learning. I think that's honestly why I haven't picked up on 3D yet. It's cause I never had a computer that was just fast enough. You know, and it's like, I'm like, okay, I'm bored already. You know, I want it rendered now. You know I'm like? If I put my idea in, I want it spit out right now, you know? And uh, until I get me a fast computer, I'm like, I'm always trying to find alternatives. But it didn't work, but it was gonna be of me being rotoscoped out onto like a, a background I created on Mid Journey. And it was gonna like pan out, you know, and it's gonna be me. And I've, I've already created like multiple, you know, environment scenarios based off the Riddler's, Riddler's uh, characteristic, his color, th his color scheme. Uh, you know, I researched like the old Batman that I love back in the '60s, and it went, you know, was it Gurish? Gurish? I forgot his name. You know, passed away. The the funniest Riddler to me, the first one in the 1970s Batman series. Um, you know, the the layouts of their their layers, you know, and the type of and and created some real uh, cool prompts. You know, prompt engineering is a skill set. So, cause he got on green. I couldn't do a green screen and the blue screen I did have on my fold up 
green screen sucks. I think I had a stain in it or something like that. So I ordered another one and that has blue on it. So all I have to say this, man, that was a long talk. My idea is to take some cool photos, but I want them to be cinematic. You know, that way I could Photoshop something cool in the background. I want to have like real dynamic lighting. So in order to pull that off on a professional level, I would have to do some research, probably on like, shot that get some I mean get some lighting techniques and some different variations then light it the way I want or I could just wing it and just you know move the cameras around and the lights around until I get some cool lighting variations or I can go spend time on a laptop and a computer and do that beforehand so it's like do I want to do a quick video for like entertainment or let's do something longer so people can actually learn something I'm thinking more lean. I feel like I'm vlogging right now. I probably talked over 15 minutes, man. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. But it's like I have to lead up to what I have to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So but that's my idea is to take some cool shots so I can teach, you know, lighting, uh, camera technique, and like photo manipulation and um, prompt engineering with mid journey. That's like five different things in one video. August spread it out. And then I want to do something like a cool Instagram reel with me close up talking, maybe quoting something from the Riddler. And then the background fades out until this cool mid journey background created. And then it's like a slow pan out with me sit, standing there, you know. I wish I had a big enough screen to, to put on my, my, uh, my cane, this little Riddler cane. And, and you know, I could just, you know, ultra key that ultra key that bad boy instead of having to sit there and rotoscope. And but the blue the blue screen I got not gonna be too much twirling. It's probably gonna be you know standing still like you know movements within like two feet. So that's my idea. Which means what I would need to be doing next is pulling out my green screen, uh, blue screen, and get ready to prepare to use that for video. And maybe do like 10 or 15 minutes of pre-work on shot deck and get some lighting ideas and then i'ma hop back on uh while i'm you know setting up the equipment based off the ideas i got and we'll check back in there check back in from there all right cool so this is the first image right here that i want to work on it's kind of like uh should i screen record this maybe i should screen record this yeah i'll do that all right so this is the first scene that i was I want to shoot on so it looks like I'm probably going to set up a table which I have and I'm going to have two I'm going to have to have two down from Savannah back like that because it looks like the light is coming from above from the back there's some, some top light because you can see the light is coming down on top of that so I'm going to have to set up a light overhead from the back and I'm going to be leaning on the table kind of like backwards I would think and probably flag off the left and right for some negative to control the spill of light. And I think that's gonna be our first shot. So we're gonna try to knock this out. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna grab this little Sam's Club table. Oh, Walmart, can't remember. And we're gonna set this up in a position where I wanna sit down at as if I was sitting on that desk we saw in the image. So quick and easy. Next. All right, so cool, cool. I'm gonna walk over here and grab my Amaran 60XS which I had set up from a previous video. Move it on over here, and we're gonna test this light out. Let's make sure it's plugged up. Mm -hmm. Attach there. Now with my phone connected to my camera, I can see what's actually going on behind the back of my head with this light. So I'm gonna go add a second light, which is Amaran P60C, and I'm gonna put that directly above my head. And here I'm going to continue to play with the power settings to see uh, if it's matching what I kind of see in the image based off the power. And, uh, you know, I have to play around and move it around, you know, just to get the light right. Slide it up, slide it back. All right, so I'll put my video camera back a little bit because I want to show you guys that I was actually trying to tether these shots to my uh, computer on my stand. But for some strange reason, when I'm connected to Capture One, and I try to use my remote while tethered, it won't take the shot. So I have to troubleshoot that and figure out what's going on. But um, when I found out that didn't work, um, I just lifted my LCD screen and went from there. I also added two V-flats from V-flat World on the bottom of each leg so I can get a little more bounce. And I changed the uh, color temperature to a little more uh, neutral tone, a little more daylight. 
All right, so now that I got the, the light that I want with some bounce by my V flat cards, I'm suited and booted. I'm ready to do this, man. Let's go ahead and knock this out. All right, so it's ready to take some pictures. Now, rule number one when doing cosplay or taking photos, have fun. I mean, get in the character. The photos are not going to come out and they're not going to resonate with the people if you're sitting there all dull and all shy. I mean, I get it if you're um, going to a photographer, but if you're at your own place, you should be having a blast. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this next look. As you can see, I'm setting up my backlight and I'm setting up my desk light, which would be on my back right and my front left, which is in the image uh, I will show you guys later when I'm editing. That's where the hot spots are that are warmer tones and the top light is a more daylight tone. So it's important to try to match the image that you're shooting of yourself to the image that you actually have as a background or that you're going to create as a background. All right, so for this last light setup, I'm only going to use two lights, which is my 150C by Amaran and the Spotlight SE attachment. And I'm going to use the P60C right above my head for uh, overhead light. Right now, I'm just testing out the shots to see how it's going to look with this gobo inside of it that looks like a gate. And I like the look. kind of gives me like a, a back alley criminal vibe. And here's me using the P60C with the Citus app to change the color to a more purple. And I, I tried the green too to see if I liked the green, but I was getting washed out in the background. So I went back to purple. And I'm just going to just try different poses and get in the character and, you know, just make the shot funny, you know. I could have did, you know, full body shots, but for these shots, I kind of wanted more portraits, so they're going to be kind of uh, within the 50 to 85 millimeter uh, range. I still have my 35 millimeter attached, is what I like, uh, as close as the 24 millimeters I have right now, but the 35 does a great job as well. I could have put on the 50 or the 85 and back my camera up, but seeing that I don't have a monitor and I have to look at my LCD, I'd rather have it closed so I can see what's going on. Also, with the touch screen, I could tap on any area I want to focus on. All right, so this is the last look. I basically I took the tripod and I lifted it up as far as it can go so I can get the camera directly in my face. Usually when I'm shooting portraits or cosplay, anything like that, I try to get at least three different angles um, as far as with the body, which is full, uh half and super close up uh to the face all right guys i hope you liked that video join me for part two where i show you guys how i edit some of these photos let's go riddle me this viewers have your fingers danced across the like button our journey to the realm of subscribe and toggle the bell of notifications oh the puzzle of engagement <laughs> Thank you for embarking on this visual spree where shadows and light play merrily. Part one has concluded, but don't you fret, for the journey continues on the internet. <laughs> Click here for part two awaits with editing secrets behind the gates. We'll dive into the depths where colors blend and show you the means to a photogenic end. <laughs> But wait, there's more. <laughs> Before you roam, a final enigma to take you home. <laughs> Seen a gadget or trick or perhaps a plot in a vast web's corner that time forgot? So in the comments below, your curiosity's cast and together we'll unlock the mysteries vast. <laughs> For our last riddle, ponder this true. What thrives with likes? yet grows with views, and in its heart, your comments brew. The answer, dear viewer, lies with you. <laughs> <laughs>